So The Tiger's Apprentice is a really good animated fantasy comedy movie based on the novel of the same name. And like I said, it is such an enjoyable movie and I feel like it does a really good job in terms of building the anticipation, the tension, the drama, the twists and turns, everything is just coming together so well in this film. And originally it was going to be an animated series on Cartoon Network, but those plans all fell through and it was then going to be a theatrical release by Paramount, but then that got delayed due to the pandemic and of course all of the strikes and then it just got released on Paramount Plus and I am just so hopeful that they do sign off on the two sequels as there are two more additional books after this one and like I said it just has so much potential to just grow into a massive franchise and I'm just so hopeful that they do it. Especially as the end of this movie just left it on such a good cliffhanger but also I feel like this movie is pretty self-contained so if they end up not doing two additional sequels then I feel like it's fine because this movie definitely can stand on its own and like I said with the build-up I feel like everything from this movie from a structural perspective was just done so well well, even the opening, I feel like so many movies get the opening wrong because they don't immediately grab the audience, whereas this one just immediately did do that with such a brilliant fight sequence right at the start. As we had this intense magical battle with all of these different magical mythical creatures and also like I said it didn't stop as the movie was progressing because it balanced excellent world building and loads of intense action battle sequences throughout. So I just feel like it's the perfect recipe and structural example of how you do these kind of films properly. And there were plenty of emotional moments throughout this movie as well and they felt really earned, really shocking and really tear jerking. And it's a really funny movie. I feel like there were really good jokes throughout this movie. That being said, not all of the jokes landed and I feel like the final battle Whilst it definitely was built up really, really well, I feel like it definitely could have just packed even more of a punch. But that being said, on the whole, I feel like it worked so well and I have to praise the animation in this movie as everything was just so slick. And all of the different animals, the mythical creatures, when they're moving in various different ways, all of that just looked so good. And the interactions with loads of different elements and being in loads of different worlds, all of that is expecting quite a lot from the audience, but I feel like it just comes together really, really well from a cinematography perspective. And from a voice acting perspective, everyone totally brings their A game and delivers. And like I said, really does make this a bit of a masterpiece. So let's go through them one by one. So first up we have Brandon Su Hu, who is playing Tom Lee, the apprentice whose life totally gets turned upside down. And I feel like he is a really great character as he's got such a good heart on his shoulder and I feel like he's able to carry this movie really, really well. And I just love the journey that he's on as he is just so naive to this entire world and he is learning everything just as the audience is learning everything and then very quickly learns how he can lend a helping hand but he doesn't always do the right thing and I loved that. They really did show that, you know, every single character in this movie is flawed in their own particular way and I feel like as a result, you can really connect with them as they feel so realistic. Henry Golding from Crazy Rich Asians does a really good job in terms of playing Mr. Who, who is the tiger who is teaching Tom Lee everything that he needs to know. And I feel like him as a character was really good as you could tell that he was pretty layered as he is fiercely loyal, really, really stubborn, very, very headstrong. And I just love that he's got very different relationships with those different characters. And his ego really does get in the way of building really lasting relationships with a number of different characters. And I love that he grows and learns as a result of learning this. And very similarly, he is able to make mistakes too. But I feel like with this character, I feel like they definitely could have dived into his past to make it even more interesting and to really help you as an audience member learn where he is coming from. Michelle Yeoh did a phenomenal job in terms of playing Lou the Evil Sorceress and she was a true threat and I love how she was consistently popping up across this movie and every single time that she did come up, she definitely did do some lasting damage to all of the different characters. So she really was a villain not to be messed with and I feel like from an evil sorceress perspective she was able to do some really cool and barbaric things. I love the twist involving her and another character and I just wish that they would have dived into that similarly a little bit more. Sandra Oh very similarly voiced Mistral the dragon really really well and I love how this character is really wise, very powerful and just looks really really cool and I love how unintentionally she was always winding Mr. Who up as she seems to be absolutely perfect, incapable of doing anything wrong, always knows the right thing to say 
And like I said, it's such a force of nature when she's on the battlefield. So I feel like you can understand and see things from Mr. Who's perspective, as maybe he has got a bit of an inferiority complex with this character. And I love the grandmother. You can really feel like she is the soul that really keeps all of these characters connected. And even though she wasn't in this movie for that long, I feel like she definitely made a lasting impression and a lasting impact on a number of different characters. And like I said, you could really feel her presence throughout. And the rat and the monkey and the rabbit were all really good supporting characters the rat out of all of them had the most screen time from a secondary character's perspective i just wish that some of his jokes landed a little bit better but either way from a guardian's perspective all of these characters are really really good pretty well rounded and definitely could bring their a game from a battlefield's perspective and i love how every single one of them individually could bring something new and different. So I have to say, The Tiger's Apprentice, I feel like is a really underrated and awesome animated movie. And I just really hope that it does spawn off a load more sequels. As far as this world is so captivating, all of these characters are so well written and created. And I just feel like from a visual cinematography point of view, everything just looks so good. So I would love to explore so much more here as they have just created something so good. And I just feel like from a writing and voice acting perspective, they've literally struck gold here and I've got such brilliant and talented people together for this project and there are even more evil people lurking in the background in the second and the third books which I just really hope we do get to see in future installments but as far as this one is concerned I'm going to give the first Tiger's Apprentice movie hopefully a solid 7.5 out of 10. Now I'd love to hear from you what did you think of this film let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.